Hello and welcome to this brief demo of Crackdown 3's Wrecking Zone, the multiplayer mode harnessing the power of cloud-based destruction. Now this is a video covering the accessibility in terms of menus for Wrecking Zone really, but I will demonstrate a match of both Agent Hunter and Territories, the modes in the game at launch at the very least. Now we are at the title screen for Wrecking Zone, so I'm going to press A to enter the game itself. Agent Hunter. Now, as you can hear, we are in Agent. We are on Agent Hunter, and actually, I should point out if you haven't seen the campaign menu demo, I would recommend checking that out, and I will leave a link to that in the description. But from here, you will begin to see the differences between this game and the campaign mode. Territories. Launch campaign. So this all reads so far, other than if we go into launch campaign which doesn't read the are you sure you want to launch campaign prompt which is interesting given that the wrecking zone prompt for campaign reads if that makes any sense launch campaign customize agent now also the next two things that you would expect to read don't read so if we're going to customize agent none of this reads Customize agent. And then if we go down again. Options. A subset of menus that you would expect to read. Unfortunately, at this point in time, doesn't. Options. Agent Hunter. Now we might as well jump into the interesting stuff of the multiplayer. Because there's a couple of interesting accessibility things in there as well. So if we jump into Agent Hunter, which is arguably the more frustrating of the two modes from the standpoint of a gamer without sight such as myself, because players who can see and lock on seem to have a distinct advantage in these modes, and they can also see where the badges are to retrieve those from the enemy team. But without further ado, we will jump in. Matchmaking. Finding matches. Please wait. Now, that's actually a really good prompt to have. The fact that the game is finding matches and it tells you as such is quite useful because then at least you know what it's doing whilst you're sitting and waiting in this rather uncertain period of a multiplayer experience when you're not sure whether it's going to actually succeed or fail, both of which actually have matchmaking prompts uh, through the TTS that we've seen so far. So it will either say matchmaking completed, which, which you might hear in a minute, well, hopefully. And uh, matchmaking failed, matchmaking which... Completed. There we go. In lobby. Ready up or wait for match to start. Toggle mute with RB. Ready up. Okay, so we now have a menu. Firearms. And unfortunately... If we move left and right in this menu, it doesn't read. Explosives. Same with this one. Equipment. And the same with this one. Ready up. Now if we press A on this. Waiting for players. And if we press RB. All muted. All unmuted. All muted. It just toggles between those options, but at least it tells you what's happening with the mute situation. Now we are just waiting for other players. Match. There we go. So all in all, it's actually quite useful to have all these small quality of life prompts to indicate when you're starting a match, when you're loading into a match, etc. They're very useful. Now one of the menus you will see almost inevitably given how much I tend to die in this and I have played a couple of matches of each of the modes both pre and post launch is the sort of respawn menu. That's a thing you're very likely to see. Now within that you are able to select your firearms, explosives and equipment but the interesting thing about that is that even though in the multiplayer readying up system those items read, the sort of row headings read, the issue comes when we discover that in the respawn menu those headings that read before in the readying up system don't read in that secondary version of the menu. And hopefully the match will begin soon. And I will provide a disclaimer in the form of I am not very good at this game and 
the way the multiplayer works in terms of verticality being a key component and the floor essentially being lava, i.e. extremely lethal, doesn't actually Training make my, now, my ability Go to play the game any better. Take it to them. It's boom time, agents. And we are in. I'm trying to listen for any gunfire. That brief sound cue is the sound of the floor. So I'm trying to ascertain where any vertical... I'm trying to basically get to the highest point I can, but unfortunately there's no audio cues to indicate where that highest point is. Or where a better point to put myself would be. That's my shield recharging and my health. That looks like enemy gunfire in the distance. Aiming up slightly to try and get a better shot at the sort of top of the area I'm currently standing in when these explode. Though, unfortunately, there isn't really enough of a sense of where everything is. Whoa! Oh, I thought I was being fired on them, but I realised I wasn't. I tried to evade then and that didn't work. Oh well. So, this menu... Apologies for that sound effect there. This menu, you would think would read. But unfortunately, it doesn't. Nice to have you back, Agent. But I am aware how I'm aware of the structure of that menu, so I know how to operate it roughly. Oh wait, have we got double explosive weapons? Oh god. Okay, that wasn't gonna end well by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> Not a moment too soon. Yeah, see if those firearms, explosives, and equipment menus read. Oh, I've come along with it. Oh, God. Even though there is lock on, it's unfortunately not very helpful when the other players can actually see. Nice to have you back, Agent. Because if they can see and lock on to you. If this isn't, I don't think this is the starting gun that you, the, the primary gun that you normally. Wow! I must say the audio is extremely entertaining in terms of the way it all works together, it's extremely good. Unfortunately, there aren't enough navigational cues to provide any sort of assistance. I'm going to see if I can kill myself with these. Oh, okay. I didn't need to. My health was already low. Good. You're ready to go again. Now this is the gun I was trying to get back to in terms of that menu. Ow. Okay. Let's see how long you can stay alive this time. That's a little that's a little harsh. That is actually a little harsh. That's more than a little harsh. That's actually very annoying. Wow. I think the issue is if the floor wasn't so lethal. No pain, no pain. If the floor wasn't so lethal, I would probably be okay with this. Either that or if the game just used a flat area. Rather than a bunch of buildings. Though I can understand why it doesn't given crackdown's sort of verticality. Okay, let the good times roll. It's also interesting how there's no timer in this mode. 
but there's no clear Now I'm not sure whether I actually have a lock on or had one Just have to keep pressing double jump occasionally I think I may have just broken line of sight, possibly, if that person was trying to shoot at me. Okay, not entirely sure what killed me. Probably the floor, Who's normally. 99% of the time it's the floor, the other smaller amounts are usually just either other players or my own explosive ammo for my various weapons. Wow, that's a very solid sound effect. Shows are recharging, though the floor isn't helping. Okay, I think just the multiple series of explosions killed me there. All right, agent, back in action. I'm just trying to change things up just to see if any interesting audio cues come up. Or I'll rather, wow. Okay, I just punched through what sounded like a whole roof of a building. So that's or a whole sort of floor of a building. Oh, this is like the sort of burst fiery. Oh, oh, that's the burst fiery sort of grenade launchery type thing. I don't know. I'll pretend I didn't see that. Yep, that's a very common thing. Unfortunately, me killing myself with my own weapons. Get back in the fight. The thing is with this, there is an achievement for getting a melee kill which would be really satisfying but I have no idea how on earth I would actually obtain it without possibly just getting into a, into a party with nine other people when the update drops and just saying can I hit you in the face with a melee kill or for the melee kill. Victory and that is it, Omega. the match is over. Unfortunately there is no indication whether I was on Omega, the apparent winning team or not. That would be kind of useful to know. Even if it's just at the beginning that would be kind of useful to know. Now shortly the menu should transition back to the main menu. Agent Hunter. And we can move on to the less frustrating game mode. Territory. Which is territories. Matchmaking. Finding matches. Please and, wait. And you'll see that this works pretty much the same way in terms of the setup process as Agent Hunter. Now the reason Territories is sort of more workable is simply because it relies on objectives rather than actually uh, taking down other players. So you can normally, if you're fortunate enough to be able to, you can follow the sounds of gunfighting, well when it's close enough is what I meant by fortunate enough to be able to because the floor might kill you first, but if you're close enough you can follow the sounds of gunfighting and enemies and things and possibly help your team. I think Territories was actually the game mode I got a kill in uh, when I looked at my stats, but that wasn't entirely clear. It just said I had one kill. So, uh, yeah, not entirely sure on that one. Yeah, but the multiplayer is... Oh, 
in lobby. Okay. Ready up or wait for match to start. Again. Toggle mute with RB. Firearms. Interestingly, I'd already Ready moved up. and it didn't want Waiting to for players. sort of interrupt All itself. Muted. What happens if I. Ready up. Aha, you can back out of the ready up. Firearms. Explosives. Equipment. Waiting for players. Okay, so sometimes it interrupts itself correctly, other times it doesn't. All unmuted. All muted. Just double checking that I have every everybody muted. Not going to hear any uh, frustrated yelling from other players. It's quite good how the music sort of shifts between. Oh, we might hear it in a second. Yeah, there we go. Kind of like that. It's good how the music seamlessly, or at least relatively seamlessly, shifts between the main menu, the sub menus, etc., the lobby, this starting match screen, these sort of post match elements as well. It's all very well put together. Who knows, they may even be able to improve the accessibility of navigation and things of both the campaign and the multiplayer modes post-launch. It's not an impossibility, given there are likely visual cues on screen to indicate sort of elements that you can get to, you can uh, jump to, etc. So very soon we should load in to this match of territories. And the announcer's actually a fair amount more active in this uh, in this game mode. You will hear Take a fair amount. Of those territories, agent. Okay. Take it to him. Let's put on a good show. What do you say? Well, let's try oh. I heard gunfire from my back and then realized I was not facing the right way at all when I sort of fell off the side of the building. They grabbed an unguarded territory. Trying to slowly work my way back towards the towards the fighting, but unfortunately Again, there's no cues to indicate where I should actually be going. Back to the battlefield. Possibly something like Fabricator Ping could help. See if I can fire a couple of things while I'm in the air. And then flying fist along. Wait for, Come on. Wait for my shields to recharge. Suicide. Well, that was a little unfair. Who's ready for action? Come on, agents, rally time. Well, that worked. I'm not going to even. Look alive. I'm not even going to try and make it look like I know where I'm going because I have no idea. That was much too much enemy fire for me to deal with. Who's ready for action? New territory up for grabs. I'm going to see if we just fall straight. The other team has captured a new territory. Oh no, we don't. Okay. Oh no, we do. We do. We fall straight down. Okay. I'd forgotten about that. Oh. Yeah, sometimes you can see the gunfire immediately and work with it. Oh! I think I just flew through windows then. And again. Wake up, agent. Your enemies have captured every territory. I was trying to evade. I think I may have been stuck on something. Let's Geometry. Do this, agent. In Gears of War, it's normally geometry that causes issues. In Halo, it's 
ledges that you can fall off the side of. Fall off the side of, I should say. And in this, it seems to be the floor is the main problem. But oh well, can't do much about that. Oh. For a second there, my projectiles were just completely not hitting anything. There are sound cues. A whole lot of explosives. A new territory oh. is coming any time now, Agent. It's interesting how sometimes there are sound cues and I have no idea what they are. There's a new territory. Who wanted more? Oh, that's the floor. Not a good idea. They're walking all over you. That was just one zone. Get more. Look alive. New territory about to come online. Tried to break line of sight there, and it is not as straightforward you as it might nice seem. Rest? Feel renewed, regenerated. Take that territory, agents. Were it so easy, I think is all I need to say. Should have realised that I was still moving. That was not a good move. I think they're trying to shoot at me. That is not good. All right, agent, back in action. It's just frustrating that even if I did want to change my various firearms, explosives and equipment, I would have no idea of what I was actually changing it to or any of the other useful information that players get when they have sight. Boom! Because sometimes bullets aren't enough. I'm not actually sure if I got a kill then, but it seems like I may have done. Ow. Regardless of whether I did or not, I am Welcome now dead back. again. That's a thing you're very likely to see a fair amount if I end up playing this regularly. I will be dying on a very, very frequent basis. That was just one zone. Get more. See, I was trying to move so that, he would have, that that enemy would have to track to where I'm actually going, but unfortunately, none of that worked. No territory unlocked. Oh, you can, you can evade in. Oh, okay. Alpha for the win. Uh, again, I think that illustrates the uh, that demonstrates the point quite accurately that I have no idea what team I'm on, and. When the fact that I have no idea what team I'm on could be fairly straightforward in terms of sorting that out and rectifying it. Agent Hunter. Just with a simple set of audio cues at the beginning indicating what team you're on. But that's, that's, you know, that's a, Territory. we'll see if that happens in terms of an improvement. Now, launch campaign. I will leave that video there. I will leave this video here. Territories. And thank you very much for watching. I know, Agent I know for those who are actually good at crackdown games that might have been frustrating to watch but i hope it's illustrated and demonstrated the difference between campaign and the wrecking zone mode in terms of menu accessibility at the very least thank you very much for watching feel free to like comment and subscribe